Hey there, folks. Hello and welcome to Good Old Gospel Time, the program that shares some of the very best music on the planet, gospel music. My name is Rhonda Combs, and I will be your host and guide you through this musical journey of great gospel music. We are today at Campbell Media. This is the home base of Good Old Gospel Time, where all the magic happens. Uh, they have things set up behind us here for a green screen shot, doing some things with that, so it's kind of cool how they work that out. Uh, but we're going to come to you today from Campbell Media here in the live studio, and we ask that you pray for us as we do this program today. We have some fine music that we think you will enjoy and pray that it is a blessing. We're also going to give out a Bible verse a little bit later, so we're going to have you write that down when we do, and then once the program is over, you can get your Bibles, grab that pen and paper, see what you wrote down, and see what God's Word has to say. Hold on, folks. It's going to be fun. It's going to be good. It's going to be gospel music. The music that we pray, the Lord will bless, that you receive a blessing from. Here we go. It's time to have a good old gospel time. Getting things started this time around, we're going to have Michael Booth tell you a little bit about a song they're going to sing entitled, He Came to Me. Another song that we're doing for the first time Squire wrote is a song entitled, He Came to Me. Now, all gospel songs should have absolute clear doctrine and theology. If there's ever been a song that really got it right, this one has got it right because you must understand the miracle of salvation, meaning Christ came to us while we were dead in our sin. Adam sinned. From that point on, we were separated from God, spiritually dead. A dead man does what? Nothing. So, how does a dead man end up being regenerated and sanctified with God the Father again? That's the miracle. And that's why I love to sing this song, He Came to Me.
That was a song uh, filmed back about 2009, live at the Oak Tree Studios. There you have the Booth Brothers singing, He Came to Me. Coming up next for you folks, we have a song by Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver. And I'll just go ahead and say right now, I love John Bowman's voice. Love it. This is Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver singing a song entitled, It Took His Blood. This young man here I met, and uh, I was producing a recording for a group up in East Tennessee, uh, out in uh, Southwest Virginia. He was playing fiddle with him, and uh, I met him, and uh, he's so easy to like. He's a wonderful young man who works now with the Isaacs. He's from Ararat, Virginia, and his name is John R. Bowman. Hey, John. Wonderful bass singer, would you make welcome Shelton Fiesel? Uh, Shelton. I stand before you in this place without one hope or plea. My sin spread out before your face. As you look down on me I have no merit on my own No ransom could there be My only hope is that your blood In love has covered me You took upon your back a wooden cross and started on your way to Calvary Though great the pain you never changed your mind It took your blood to set me free Praise I give to Thee So thankful for amazing grace And that it reaches me There was indeed a ransom paid My freedom has been won The sacrifice was heaven's best the blood of God's own Son You took upon your back a wooden cross And started on your way to Calvary Though great the pain you never changed your mind It took your blood to set me free Started on your way to Calvary Though great the pain you never changed your mind It took your blood to set me free I bow before you in this place My praise lift up to thee Lift up to thee There you have a song off of a project that was filmed for the 25th anniversary of Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver. And that's been back some time ago. That song featured John Bowman. It was Doyle Lawson and Quicksilver singing, It Took His Blood. Coming up next on Good Old Gospel Time, it is time for the double blessing. That means we have two songs in a row by the same artist. Today we're gonna feature the Crab Family, they're singing up in Brooklyn, New York at the Brooklyn Tabernacle. First song entitled, 
holy ground. The second one, please come down to me. Here you have the Crab Family with today's double blessing. Well, I am joined the presence of the Lord. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of like, how many has ever heard of Jaron Davis? Anybody ever heard of Jaron Davis? I think one of the greatest, one of my favorite songs uh, written was Holy Ground. The first verse, as I walked through the door, I sensed his presence. And I knew this was the place, Brother Simba, where his love abounds. For this is the temple. Jehovah God abides here. I know we're the temple, but I'm going to tell you what, I could feel the presence of the Lord when we walked in this place. We are standing on holy ground. You know it, sing it with me. And I know that there are angels all So let us pray, let us praise Jesus now. For we are standing on hold. I like the second verse too. You see in his presence there is joy. It's beyond all measure. And that his feet on our knees, a peace of mind, it can still be found. It can still be found. I like this. He said, if you have a need, my child, I'll always have for you an answer. Boy, aren't you glad of that today? All you have to do is reach out and claim it. For child, you're standing right here on the heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
bless your name. So let us praise for we for we are standing. We are standing. Whatever you have need of, ask, because we're in His presence right now. For we are standing in His presence. On This is one of my favorite songs that my father has ever pinned down. I love it. How many has ever felt just you made a mess of the day? You ever been there? You got mad about something and you just showed yourself. You know what I mean? Huh? Some of you have done that. Was it today? Because of the bike tour? No, I'm just kidding. But, you know, you feel so unworthy at night when you lay your head down on your pillow to even just, you think about all the mistakes and all the the many times you've let him down throughout the day and you feel so unworthy to call upon him. Some of you might be feeling the same way. Maybe you feel like that you've done so much and let Christ down so much that you feel unworthy to call upon his name. I want to tell you something. His grace is beautiful. He is a loving and just God. That's what this church is all about. That's why I love it so much here. You can feel the love of God. Doesn't matter what you've done. If you feel unworthy to come to him, he'll come to you. All you have to do is ask. I want you to listen to the words of this song. I'm unworthy to call upon your name all my life I've been a sinner and for that I am ashamed but I heard that you would listen so I'd give you I'm too unworthy, Lord, to come to you. Could you please come down to me? Hallelujah. I know that there are others who can offer more than I. I promise you I'd understand. If for me you had no time I think I've just hit bottom And I'm looking up to see I'm too unworthy, Lord, to come to you Could you please come down to me? Guess I must be reaping from the seeds that I have sown. Oh, and Lord, you owe me nothing. We haven't spoken for so long. Oh, but if you could spare some mercy. Could you please come down to me? I know that there are others who can offer 
Don't you just love it when you can walk into a church house and feel that you are on holy ground? The Spirit of the Lord is there and you can just sense it. It's awesome. There you have the double blessing for today's program featuring the Crab Family. First song was entitled, Holy Ground. Secondly, please come down to me. Pray you were doubly blessed. Up next for you, we're gonna feature some not too far from Cincinnati, hometown kind of gals. They are from Waynesville, Ohio. Sisters Donna and Brenda, they make up Hearts of Faith. And right now they're gonna sing for us, Jesus, take the wheel. She was driving last Friday on her way to Cincinnati on a snow white Christmas Eve. Going home to see her mama and her daddy with a baby in the back seat. Fifty miles to go and she was running low on faith and gasoline. It'd been a long, hard year. She had a lot on her mind and she didn't pay attention. She was going way too fast. Before she knew it, she was spinning on a thin black sheet of glass. She saw both her lives flash before her eyes. She didn't even have time to cry. She was so scared. She threw her hands up in the air. Jesus, take the wheel. to the shoulder and the car came to a stop and she cried when she saw that baby in the back seat sleeping like a rock and for the first time in a long time she bowed her head to pray she said i'm sorry for the way i've been living my life i know i've got to change so from now on tonight
Jesus take the wheel Oh, take it, take it from me Oh, ooh, I know whenever I'm getting ready to take a trip and head down the road, I try my best to remember to ask the good Lord to have travel mercies on that trip. Hope you do as well. Uh, God can take the wheel and He can take over for whatever need is in our life, whether it's physically, literally, or figuratively. That was Hearts of Faith singing, Jesus, Take the Wheel. Hi, this is Mike Bolin of the Bolin Family, and you're listening to some great gospel music right here on Good Old Gospel Time. Do you ever walk around feeling like you're chained down, just bound up? Well, B.J. Pons is going to sing a song for you here entitled, Walk in Freedom. Give it a listen. As I come into your presence Just the way I am When I see you face to face I know I'm not the same again Your spirit brings a peace to me My restlessness is gone The word that you deliver I'll Take my life apart
thanks to a risen Savior, we can walk in freedom. Hope you enjoyed that song entitled Walk in Freedom, sang for us by B.J. Pons. Well, what do you know? It is Bible verse time. So grab your pen and paper. Write this down, please. We are going to 2 John, and there's only one chapter. So it's 2 John, verse 9. 2 John, verse 9. Read that a little bit later. I think you'll gain some knowledge. Anybody out there glad there's an empty tomb? Hopefully, every one of you either said yes or raised your hand on that question. Here singing a song entitled, The Empty Tomb, It Is Glory Land. If you know that there is an empty tomb, you should have got a blessing out of that song. We sure hope that you did. That was Gloryland singing The Empty Tomb. Well, what do you know? It is triple treat time. That means we have three songs in a row by three different artists. Getting things started today, it is the Collingsworth family singing God is Moving. Then we have Ivan Parker with Home at Last and rounding it out, Gospel Truth Trio with Smile, God Loves You. Hope you enjoy today's Triple Treat.
I speak his name and demons flee and it breaks the chains of captivity You know, I was talking a few moments ago about this place that I, I love to sing songs about heaven. Because folks, whether you realize it tonight or not, we're really just strangers in a land. This is not our home. If, if, if you're happy about this situation, then you're happy about the wrong stuff. Because we tonight that have been washed in the precious blood of the Lamb, we have been redeemed. And there is coming a day that we are going to gather together for the greatest family reunion that we have ever been a part of. I've got a dear old dad that's waiting for me on the other side. And I can't wait until that day that I'm going to be able to put my arms around him. But most of all, ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited about seeing Jesus. That's the greatest thing of all. But I don't know whether or not you have ever taken the time to just really just get a picture of what it's going to be like when you arrive. When we all leave this place here and we gather over there on that other side, have you ever just stopped to think of a description of what heaven is going to be like? I want to sing a very special song for you tonight. And out of all the heaven songs that I sing, this is the greatest description of all.
What a day of great rejoicing Music fills the air As friends unite with loved ones gone greatest hopes and dreams will be fulfilled. A day when all sorrow and pain and sickness and death will be over. When we will join with our loved ones and the saints of all the ages as we stand before the great throne of God. And we will stand and we will sing this chorus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are home at last. Oh, we're home at last, joy forever, sorrows past, and all of as the bride.
times I heard the Savior say, You better get up and look up, for there's a brighter day. So I got up and I looked up and I saw his shining face. Now I'm so happy, cause in my heart he took his place. So many problems and trials, nothing but a sky of gray. So I got up and I looked up and I saw his smiling face. Now I'm so happy as you fill me with your Sure hope that you enjoyed that three in a row today. Getting things started were the Collingsworth family with God is Moving. And then it was the old singing Indian himself, Mr. Ivan Parker, with Home at Last. And Gospel Truth Trio telling you to smile. God loves you. Yes, he does. Hope you enjoyed today's Triple Treat. Holy smokes, we are already done. Wow, went so fast. We certainly pray that you were blessed by one of the songs you heard today. That's why we are here, folks. We want to be a blessing to as many people as possible. So hey, if you're watching, but your friends, family, neighbors, they're not, let them know about Good Old Gospel Time and have them tune in. We can be seen on various community media outlets in the greater Cincinnati area. We are also, praise the Lord, on now down in Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia. If you need any further information about that, give me a call. But we can also be seen on YouTube, so check that out if you can. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, good old gospel time is on, and good Lord willing, we're going to be on for a long, long time. Keep tuning in. I hope you do. And when you do, together, you and I will have a good old gospel time. All of those videos of him pantomiming the cathedrals. Oh, I mean, oh, he'd yeah. have his microphone. It might be a hair dryer or something, but he'd stand out there. <laughs> you sing, it's almost over. We are going home. And you were like six years old. As high as you absolutely oh. possibly could without so, breaking the It looked the like windows. he was about to bust a blood vessel. <laughs> and the crowd roars! <laughs> Yay! When I look at the
What a dance. Good, what a dance. Livia, are you enjoying this? Livia, are you enjoying this? Hi, this is Mike Bolin of the Bolin Family, and you're watching great gospel music right here on Good Old Gospel. It's all right. I have a blooper segment, so you'll make that. Oh, I can make you a blooper. <laughs> Good old gospel time. Good old gospel time. All right.